Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of AJY Show. Guys, as I always say, on AJY Show, we educate. So we invite professionals to speak to us about relationship, marriage, or anything about life, guys. <laughs> so today I have here with me a medical laboratory scientist. Today we are going to speak about blood group types and also its compatibility when it comes to marriage or relationship and also when it comes to pregnancy as well. Hmm. So, the, no, I shouldn't call you doctor. <laughs> but I don't want to call you doctor. No. He said I shouldn't call him doctor. So, okay. <laughs> Mr. Seriram. Yeah. Oh, Seriram. 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 Okay. okay. Mr. Seriram, you are welcome. You can to... also call me SK. SK. Sure. Okay. Then I'll take the SK. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. SK. Yeah. <laughs> you are welcome to AJY. Thank you very much. Yes. So kindly introduce yourself to okay. my people. Okay. I'm Seriram, as she said, and I'm a medical laboratory scientist. So, um, in a layman point of view, I work in a hospital laboratory. So we deal in diagnosis of um, any disease that um, wants to be investigated in the lab. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you're welcome once again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, if you have anything concerning labs, just con contact him. Yes. He will just tell you everything about it. He will advise you on anything. <laughs> Mr. SK. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Eske, when we talk about blood group type, what should we know about blood group type? Okay, blood group types are antigens okay. that are found on the red blood cells of every human being okay. on earth. And it is inherited from our parents or our biological parents. Okay. So when you have or they identify you with a specific blood group, it's never going to change. Some people say their blood group changes anytime they go and do a test. It's never going to change. It's, it stays with you till you enter your grave. Oh, okay. 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 And also, what are the types of blood groups? Okay, so have? we have four types of blood group type, uh, blood groups. We have the A, the B, the O, and the AB. Okay. But um, we have the RH factor too as well. So normally when you go to the hospital or you go to the laboratory to test for or to know your blood group, they normally tell you the two, the RH factor and the blood group type. Okay. So basically we have four blood group types. That's the A, the B, the O, and the AB. But the RH factor in addition, which is negative, either negative or positive, makes the typing eight. So, okay. as I mentioned earlier, we have four, four types. types. So, adding a, a plus or a minus or a negative or a positive to it makes it eight. Okay. So, assuming you have A and your blood group, uh, your average factor, sorry, is negative, then you are A negative. Okay. So, you can be A average factor positive or A average factor negative. So, the four types that we have, in addition to the negative, to both, um, to each of them makes it eight. Okay. So, we have A plus. Um, sorry, A positive and A negative, B positive and B negative, O negative and O positive, and then A, B positive and A, B negative. <laughs> hey guys, we have a lot to learn. <laughs> okay, so with the A, B, O and negative, positive, mm -hmm. when it comes to marriage, mm -hmm. is it very, very necessary to know about all these things? Okay, blood group type does not really matter when it comes to relationship or marriage because to have a nice wonderful relationship <laughs> it depends on you and your partner so it only plays an important role when you want to have a baby or when the pregnancy is set in setting in that is when um, it becomes important or also you want to know how compatible you are with your partner in case of emergency so that you can rely on or you can um, advise that your partner's blood group is given to you. Okay, okay. good. So I think that is very, very necessary to know your blood group. Well. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. Because <laughs> I remember when I was getting married, okay. my chair told me that I should 
go and do and i have to know my blood group type with my husband to us so, so i was like ah blood group my husband with married to what's the connection yeah so so you said in your in your delivery or in your mm -hmm. submission you said that um when it comes to pregnancy that's yeah. when blood group really matters, matters yes. so i want to know i want you to okay. explain further so when it comes to pregnancy blood group compatibility becomes important okay. because it helps in um, subsequent or losing subsequent pregnancies that is to come. So let me give a scenario. So when, say, a mother is Irish negative and then the man is Irish positive. Now, when you, you are pregnant with your first baby and the baby happens to be a positive baby, you can deliver the first baby without any complications or without any issues with respect to blood compatibility. But if the baby happens to be positive and then in the process of delivery, there is a little mix up with the baby's blood group with the mother. Now, when you have a negative, you be, the baby's mother begins to form antibodies. That is like um, the baby's blood, which is positive, has been introduced into the mother. So it, it becomes a foreign Material. material in the mother's blood okay. so the mother's blood begin to form antibodies that is like soldiers against that foreign material so okay. now when the antibodies are formed it remains in the mother's system forever so now when it <laughs> remains in the mother's system forever the first baby is likely to go away free with it without being attacked okay. but because the soldiers or the antibodies has now been formed in the mother, the subsequent pregnancy, if it becomes positive, the mother's system sees the baby as a foreign material and therefore begins to attack Ooh. or destroy the baby in the, in the womb. But there is a solution to that. Ah. <laughs> hey. Mr. SK, you were really scaring me. <laughs> I was really yeah. scared. So when I heard there is a solution, I was like, oh, okay, okay. So what's the solution? Okay, so the solution is when a doctor or a clinician be, um, gets to know that you are a negative, a, a RH negative, that's a resource factor negative mother, and your first child is a resource positive okay. child. When you are pregnant in the subsequent uh, when you are pregnant again, the clinician gives you um, RH immunoglobulin. Okay. So RH immunoglobulin is like a medication or a medicine that, when introduced into the mother, prevents the mother's antibody from attacking okay. the, the baby. baby. Okay. So it is given normally um, um, during the third trimester or the uh, seventh month of pregnancy. Okay. And then it is given again after 72 hours after delivery. Oh, okay. Yes. So to prevent the mother's blood group, or uh, the mother's system from also forming further Antibody. antibodies against the baby. Yeah. Guys, today we are really learning. We are really learning a lot because I never knew about all these things. Okay. I never okay. knew. So what, what, what blood group is the ideal or what is the um, RH factor? Which one is the ideal one? Okay. So when you are Irish positive, or we are still talking about pregnancy or yes. a mother's right. Yeah. So when a mother is Irish positive and gives birth to Irish positive child or a baby, there is no problem. No she problem. can continue to give birth as many as she wants without any complications. Yes, yes. Okay. And when the mother is still Irish positive and gives birth to Irish negative baby, there is also no complications. Yes. But it be, there is a complication when the mother is negative and the child is positive. positive. Now, if the mother is Irish negative and the child is also Irish negative, there is no complication okay. because okay. there is no uh, mix-up and there is no antibodies being formed. Mm. So antibodies are only formed when the mother, and uh, when the child, sorry, is Irish positive. positive. And the mother yeah. is negative. Are negative, exactly. Okay, okay. okay Mr. SK, thanks yeah. so much for that. So we've learned about um, Irish factor when it comes to pregnancy. Yeah. So I want to know when it comes to like relationship or marriage, the com uh, its compatibility when it comes to okay so when it comes to relationship as i said to have <laughs> a good relationship does not really depend on your blood group or each of you your blood group okay. yes 
it only matters as i said earlier again when pregnancy okay. is coming in but it becomes also important again when in case you want to know how compatible you are with your partner so um say you and your husband which is me assuming you have the same blood group so in case of emergency there is no need trying to search for who is you are compatible with oh, okay. so you can just recommend your uh, your husband. husband because you know already know your husband's blood group so your husband can just come they test for him and then they transfuse you with okay. his blood yes and then if you are there there are, there are cases or there are in certain cases it's not always compatible one can benefit and one may not okay. because there are some blood um okay let me let me say Someone who is AB positive is a universal recipient. Okay. okay. So they are they are for me I call them the selfish people because they can receive blood from <laughs> anybody. Yes, or anyone. But the O negative are the limited ones. Okay. They are the universal donors. Well, there is a no or, or there is people who are O positive are always in their universal donors. Actually point of question the universal donor is the O negative. O negative because not the positive. Not the positive. Okay. People say they are they are they are universal donor because um, research shows that or data shows that majority of people living in the world are O positives. Whoa. <laughs> yes, but the O negative are the universal donors. So somebody who is O negative can donate for everybody. So assuming you are O negative and Ni is AB positive, now Ni can take your blood, but you can't can take. take. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and when it comes to the average factor, a positive can take a negative, okay. but a negative cannot take, take a positive. positive. Yes. Why? Well, that's how nature it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that's how nature is. Okay, so guys, you heard it. Mm -hmm. hmm. We have to learn and not say. Yes. Hmm. So I remember let me, when... let, sorry, let me chip in this. Okay. Um some people during their first pregnancy maybe have not visited the clinic or the hospital or the antenatal clinic and then they get miscarriage or the baby uh, uh, gets aborted mm -hmm. but they might be average negative okay. and they don't have any knowledge about That's this it. and the baby that was aborted or that was forming was maybe happened to be average positive okay. so there is a mix up there but they never knew yeah. and they've never visited the clinic they never told their clinician that they they had a first or an initial abortion or miscarriage or something like that okay. so they will realize that maybe a husband and a wife okay. will subsequently get pregnant and the baby get keep on getting miscarriages okay. but they never knew that it was due to the fact that maybe the first one was an average was positive, positive and then the was negative. negative and so Antibody. has been formed and attacking the babies so it's good you tell when you go to a clinic. I, I I would say when you go to the hospital, don't feel shy of the nurse. Don't feel shy of the yes. clinician. Don't feel shy of any health worker. Voice out what exactly is wrong with you or what you want to tell the doctor. Yes. By giving those information, the, the doctor or the clinician or the nurse will actually know the intervention to give you to help you. Okay, so I remember when I when I went to the hospital. So when I got pregnant and I went to the hospital, I was asked, "Have I had miscarriage before?" I said, okay. "No." Have I aborted a baby before? I said, "No." So okay. that's the reason why I was like, ah, yes. "Why are you asking me this? I'm pregnant. You are not coming to ask me history." So okay. okay, okay, okay. So guys, you've heard you've heard from him. Whenever you go to the hospital, don't feel shy. Just tell the clinician anything about your health. Don't fall shy. If you feel shy, you are just endangering yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. So, we've learned um, about our age factor when it comes mm -hmm. to pregnancy mm -hmm. and also relationship. Okay. It's going blood group and it's compatibility when it comes to relationship and marriage. Okay. Um, Mr. SK, yeah. you, you know, there's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of uh, misconceptions or myths about blood group, what to eat and things. So I want to ask you if you've heard about some, if you've heard about some, then what are some of them and how true that is? Well, I have read about some <laughs> on the internet and, um, there are researches and data on the internet telling 
different stories about um, which uh, black groups or which couples black group makes the uh, best gives the best relationship. Yeah. I read somewhere that an <laughs> a an a female and an a, a male have the best relationship. Well, to me personally, uh, I or I wouldn't say it has medically been proven. Okay. So, as a medical scientist, I wouldn't um, follow those kind of um, data. That yes. So scientifically, I would say it doesn't really matter <laughs> your blood group you, for your relationship to be okay or to have a nice relationship depends on the two, two of, of you, you. not okay. necessarily your blood group. Okay. And then some says. Um, if you have this particular uh, particular blood group, you need to eat this kind of food. You need to eat that. Well, it's still undergoing research, okay. and I have not personally or concretely. Um, it's something I read on the net, and it has not really been to me, to me as an individual, <laughs> to me as an individual. I tend not to believe some of them, but some of them too. I think. I need to see more research carried by other people to say or confirm that it is really true. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So for me, so um, am I supposed to also go and check what um, little Yomu um, introduced into my body? Because I have to know, right? Yes. As I said earlier, if you are a positive mother okay. and you know little Yomu's blood group, if you're a positive mother, I don't think it's really necessary to know little Yemo's yeah, blood like group or what okay. he has introduced into you. But if you are negative, that is when you need to know what little Yemo has introduced into you. So if little Yemo happens to be a negative um, baby, then you are free to go. But if little Yemo is a positive and it happens that you are a negative, then you need to, I mean, make arrangements for the anti-D <laughs> immunoglobulin okay. by the doctor so okay. that your subsequent pregnancy is only taken when you are pregnant. Okay. It's not that okay. you take it. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 If you want to know more, if you want to ask more questions about your blood group, your um, RH factor or anything, please just contact him. Contact him. I'll, I'll just put his number in the comment section or I'll pin it for everyone to see. So if you have any problem, guys, just contact him. So if you've learned something, if today today's edition has been very educative to you, guys, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and share it to everyone because we all need to know about this. Yes, we all need to know about this. So, uh, Mr. SK, what's your final? Okay, so my final word or words are it is not actually or important when you are dating somebody or when you are uh, in a relationship to know your blood group and how what effect it can have on you but if you are going to get married and going to you have future plans of having children then that is when you need to factor in to know the individual blood group of both spouses and then know the interventions to take okay. when it comes to childbearing so as not to have complications during um pregnancy, pregnancy and after pregnancy okay okay, okay. thanks so much <laughs> thanks so much mr sk sometimes <laughs> i want to call you doctor but you said i shouldn't call you doctor <laughs> thanks so much mr sk so guys if you've learned a lot as i said why don't you give this video a thumbs up share it to everyone we need to know we really need to know so until next time it's aj yebo thanks so much for watching thank you Bye.